It is possible to make money while you sleep, but it does take some work and it does take some time. These are some ways that almost everyone can do starting today, or you just have to be a little bit older, but everyone can help me smash that like button to help me with the YouTube algorithm. And thank you for doing that. Let's get right into the video. All right, so first we gotta talk about inflation. Inflation just means the cost of goods costs more money each year. So if you go to your favorite ice cream store and you get a scoop for a dollar, and let's say you go back a year later and you get that same single scoop again, this time it'll cost $1.25, which means you don't wanna leave all your money in a checkings or a savings account. These accounts are meant for everyday spending, to pay your bills, and to withdraw and deposit money really fast. You are making some money for using the bank's checking and savings account, but these are taxable accounts and you lose some of that money. Instead, what you want to do is open a Roth IRA and these are not taxable accounts. The goal is to put away as much money as you can and max out these accounts and these are meant for people who are not making a lot of money right now. It is designed for a future retirement that you can open up with a brokerage called like Fidelity, the Schwab, or Vanguard, and you can contribute up to $6,000 a year, or if you're 50 years or older, you can put away $7,000. This becomes tax-free money by the time you retire. The downside is you cannot withdraw the money until you retire, otherwise you get penalized. But the upside is you have compound interest working in your favor. Compound interest works exactly like a checking or a savings account, but a Roth RA, but it'll give you a much higher interest percentage. Now, these are some rough numbers here, but let's say if I started to contribute to my Roth RA at 18 years old, and I can only put away $3,000 every year, and we're going to say on the low end that the Roth IRA return gives us 7% every year. And if I invest for 47 years and put away $3,000 consistently, by the time I turn 65, I've invested $141,000 on my own, but it turns into $1,056,810. I mean, that's pretty good for not doing much. And imagine if I just contributed more than $3,000 every year. The second and next best suggestion is if you're working right now, and if your company has it, open up a 401k. A 401k is a tax referred account, meaning the money that you make right now, you have the option to tell your boss and say, hey, let's put this money in a separate account for retirement. This means the money that you wanna contribute into that separate account, and the money is gonna be pulled from your paycheck. The whole point of opening up a 401k is so that way this money that you set aside becomes tax free. What's also good is that there are companies that offer an employer match. So if I agree to put some money away, the company will also contribute to that dollar amount or maybe a little bit less. Okay. And third, to make more money when you sleep, invest in stocks. You wanna purchase some shares of companies you believe in that you'll still see around within five, 10, 15 years and so forth. Stocks are a great way to build more money so long as you have the right strategy. And always ask yourself, if I were to invest this money, am I okay with losing it? Because it does happen. And fourth, look into index funds. It's a little bit safer than stocks because you're buying a bunch of different companies rather than just one. And this also means you'll be making a little bit less money because you're taking a lot less risk. And fifth, look into real estate. If you have the money and you have the interest, look into buying some rental properties. Homes will always be in demand and people will always need a place to live. In short, you wanna own a property and rent it out, but it does take a lot of work up front. But when done correctly, you can make a crap ton of money. Just imagine if you were holding onto two rental properties, three, four, you name it. And lastly, we have YouTube. If you have the time and you enjoy making videos, this is perfect. You can be passionate about cooking or sharing things that you already know like this. The goal is you want people to keep coming back to watch your videos and that becomes passive money. And thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Drop me a like and a comment down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.